Guys, welcome back. So today we're going to take a little uh, dive into the iron shaft range that we carry here at TXG. Uh, you guys will be familiar with most of the shafts that we reviewed in the channel. I think some of our more popular videos actually were the comparison of the iron shafts, yes. Nippon, Dynamic Gold and Project X. Probably the top five video actually. A yep. top fiver. Yeah. So um, we wanted to kind of maybe touch on some of the brands that you guys don't know as much about. We've got a little uh, stock of new product that's just came in. Matty is holding one of those particular shafts right now, the mm. new Oban 125. Right, so you had 115s and we've, 100s yeah, We've before? been carrying the 100 and the 115 for probably a year and a half now. Right. We do very well with that. Uh, customers really uh, speak highly of it. And I definitely get a lot of questions from you guys about going to other stores and being fitted into the Oban product. And yes. What do we think? And you know, there's no getting away from it. It's at a higher price point. You Definitely. can access it through any of the uh, OEM carts. So it, it is an aftermarket only part. So I think most places you'll see it somewhere around the 80 to 100 $110 range. Per, per iron shaft? Per yeah. iron shaft. Okay. So it's not cheap. Not cheap. Um, nope. You know, I think most people see that. It's a slightly different uh, process to, to make the Oban shafts. They are extruded versus uh, welded. Yeah. It is a seamless shaft, so it's literally cored. Which is crazy yeah. when you think about that. So a lot of the robot testing that, that we've sort of been privy to has shown some, some very interesting uh, data with regards to the consistency of these Oban shafts. Yeah. And really shot to shot, there's, a, there's an argument for it, it might be the best out there. Yeah, I mean, sort of unofficially and kind of not obviously public facing testing, but we've definitely yeah. heard that in the industry that these are kind of one of your top, top, top tier for that exact thing. That's the it. The most so, consistent. You know, we're always interested in hearing how these robot tests go. Um, you know, the game isn't played by robots and, mm. and, and also, you know, the human element plays such a role and that's, we, we're fully aware of that. But th there definitely is, is an intriguing story when you hear things like that from uh, testing that can be exactly replicated True. time after time. So it's, it's definitely worth looking at. Um, tolerance is something that means a lot to us at TXG. You guys will be hearing a lot from us over the last few months about not just the consistency in the fit, but in the build process as well. Mm -hmm. Tolerances are a big part of hitting those build specs. And, and that's something where I think Oban excel. Definitely. Okay. Helps to get a product like this where your fitting will match the build afterwards. Like what you test the fitting is, is going to be what it's you get. It's absolutely crucial. You have to be able to, if you're striving to achieve performance in the bay, you have to be able to uh, achieve those tight tolerances on the, the, the builder's bench in yeah. order to ensure that the, the club performs as you expect when you get out into the field. Gotcha. All right, Matty boy, let's, let's hit a few. You've, you've, not, you've not hit any old band uh, product nope. in, in the past. No, I've never hit it. I don't think we ever have. It's a first. Okay. It's a lovely swing. It's a nice one. So you were looking at kind of the the raw specs and stuff. Seemed like this should be a really stiff profile shaft, no? Yeah, it, it's. We picked another another few shafts at the 125 gram range, like the Modus 120 TX, the Shimada uh, Tour X Flex, and this was stiffer than the Modus. Uh, 120 TX in the butt mid and uh, right. tip section. So, so this is kind of the heftiest one that we have mm -hmm. to test today. How does it feel? If you, if you... I, the reason I brought it up is because it feels pretty good. I had a couple it? Pre before the video too and that first one felt, it doesn't feel overly stiff. I mean, it, it's got kind of a X7 feel but maybe not as kind of stout. Yeah. It's good. It's definitely consistent. Cheeky. <laughs> it's nice. Oof. Okay, so it'll be hmm. interesting to see if, if the shaft is con uh, contributing anything towards these low strikes. That's quite prominent. So comparable from a uh, weight perspective, probably in the fit when you're giving someone 
that 125 oh man this is probably in the conversation same at the same wheelhouse. time okay gotcha like we, like we i think said though uh, a little bit softer than the the oban profile right so it should feel a little bit less stiff yeah Yeah, you can feel it a little bit, for sure. So a little bit softer in the handle, maybe. So it definitely feels a little softer. I definitely prefer the feel of that O-band so far. Okay. It definitely more familiar to X7, and I feel just less movement overall. I can feel a little bit of mm -hmm. flexion in this, which I think for some people would be nice, smooth feeling. For yeah. me, I don't, I don't tend to care for that in the irons. That sounded like your best one. That was really good. All right, Matty boy. Uh, so as we mentioned at the top uh, of the video, the Oban shaft, which is kind of the predominant review or part we are reviewing in this this video. Yep. They're made. The, the parent company is Shimada. Um, oh, I so, didn't know that. Yeah. So okay. they're they're made by them. Um, so this is the the home line, the in-house line. Gotcha. So. It'll be interesting to see how these compare. I would imagine they, they aren't too dissimilar to, to one another. Probably pretty. Uh, I mean, I even just that to be the case. Just to hold and uh, take a couple of waggle swings, they feel a little bit more similar. Okay. Feel a little bit easier face control so far in terms of strike and squareness. Yeah, I feel a little easier to, to turn it over a little bit, just slightly. That's nice. That was a nice flight. Yeah. Ready? Straight. That is a lovely one. Buff. I think I've hit my best shots with this shaft. All right, Matty boy. So purpose of the video was obviously to highlight the Oban product yeah. and also test it next to two similar products. Definitely. I think we have been really pleasantly surprised with how the result has came out. From a ball speed perspective, we are within less than one mile an hour range, mm -hmm. which I love. It's great. Yep. Um, Looking across the board, I really like the tightness of the Oban and its performance. Standard deviation, yeah. Standard dev is good. The, the, the consistency on that flight was, was so good. It's a good point. Um, it was just the, it's definitely the tightest tolerance. You were able to replicate your shape. You're definitely starting to split hairs at that point. Um, if I could give, you know, we've hit whatever, we've hit 20 shots. It's not exactly a, a scientific test, but I did feel that the shot that I saw from Oban was as expected most of the time. Mm -hmm. I didn't kind of get any surprise ones in there. Didn't feel any that were gonna kind of hook on me or push unless I kind of had a bad swing or bad strike. Yeah. So I would say, you know, if they're claiming or making a really consistent shot, I'd say it's at least feasible. It's mm -hmm. worth a try. I mean, if I was in a fitting with these three, this is the one I would pick. Yeah, it was good, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, out of the three, if you could designate a stiffness or what would you say out of that, the, the Modus 120 TX, and the Shimada 
tour. I would go, if I were to scale them, I would go Oban feels the stiffest overall. Okay. Yep. Shimada feels below that, mm -hmm. mostly in the handle. I felt the Shimada is a little bit more flexible in the handle. Mm -hmm. um, and Modus felt the most flexible to me, but that may be from the midsection, yeah. like you said. Like, it's hard to tell when you kind of swing the Modus. Mm -hmm. I feel the shaft kicking quite a bit. Yeah. This one, I don't feel that. Mm -hmm. So I would imagine the midsection of that having more play to it is maybe the feel difference. I think a lot of people will, will like that Nippon because it feels like you're getting quite a lot of kind of pop on the ball from it. Yeah, that, that's the idea of the modus is that you've got a very stiff handle, very stiff tip section, and a lot softer in the midsection, so it loads a little bit easier. We, we always compare that one to the Project XLZ with yes. the, the micro uh, step in the, in the midsection just to soften that up a little bit. Um, but, you know, it's similar. I like this one because of the people who ask us about similar shafts. There are similar shafts to the Oban shafts out there. Yeah. I think if you are passionate about or, or you know you really truly believe in the the build process and tolerance and all that sort of stuff if you are trying to make the the set the, the most consistent it can be i think you'll you you want to probably invest in the oban product at that point yeah but in t from a fitting perspective you know a, a really good fit will probably override the difference in in tolerances is probably what i'm leaning towards yeah here. that's fair enough I think that's fair enough. Yeah. It's like anything else. If you want the peace of mind, you'll you'll pay yeah. the extra. But it's good to see that there are, you know, these are just three products. I'm sure there's yeah. iron shafts. I know you always say to people, don't buy an iron shaft to completely change your flight. Yeah. That seems to be the case again. I mean, three different iron shafts, albeit geared to a similar player, they kind of performed within, you know, a human error of themselves. Like oh, yeah, hard to pick them apart. You know, half a degree, a point four of a degree in launch between high and low, there's about 43, 53 uh, RPM in spin. Mm -hmm. so it's tiny margins, Very tiny, tiny, tiny margins. margins. But it's easy in a fit for me to say, I would, you know, I think for anyone, there would be a standout in terms of number of shots you hit yeah. to get the ones that you wanted. It would feel that way for someone. That's sure. right. And, and you've, you have the advantage in this scenario of hitting it and going, okay, that felt like this. Your eyes then engage your flight and go, ah, that's exactly what it felt yes. like. We always talk about that, no surprises, and, no and surprises. we really look for that uh, in, in, the, the, um, in the fit because there's nothing worse playing golf than you feel like you make a certain swing and you look up and the result is, is sort of contradicting your feel. That is the, no that's a terrible that. feeling, yeah. yeah. Yeah, terrible feeling. All right. Awesome. Uh, another one to, to add to the lineup and certainly one that we, we're looking forward uh, to getting in the hands of our customers. Um, we're going to do another similar test to this. We're going to do the new Acra uh, Steel Series, um, 115 gram. We've got the Oban, we've got the Modus 120, which weighs 114.6, and um, LZ 5.5, which is also 115. So Perfect. that's a really popular weight category for you guys and something, again, I get asked a lot of questions about. So look forward to that one. Nice. Thanks so much for joining us, guys. We'll see you again soon.